Yobos, this is We to Play The Brenton Brushworks of YouTube, and welcome to this special video, if I could get it to work. There it goes. I wasn't sure if it would work with the Pokeball Plus or not. So I am playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and in my party I have Mew. I have Mew, I ended up lying. Here's what I'm thinking. Mew starts off at level 1, surprisingly. Or unsurprisingly. I mean, if you want to use Mew right away on your team, then this works. However, like I said, I don't plan to actually utilize Mew, at least with fighting, until the post-game. But no one said anything about letting me level her up and just having her tag along with me while I am doing my shiny hunting. So this is going to be the first shiny hunt video, and I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can. I'm going to be shiny hunting Caterpie. As you can see, I still have Hat B, my Eevee partner, on my head, but he is not part of the party. So anyone that's not part of the party is not going to get experience points. So this is one way you can do it where you don't get your other Pokemon to earn experience points. And considering I want to try to keep the LP as fair as I can, I feel like this is the best solution. So Mew's the only one that's going to receive experience points. And the only Pokemon we're looking for is not you. <laughs> the only Pokemon we are looking for is Caterpie. Now, in case you didn't hear me the first time, I'll try to explain as best as I can without overcomplicating things. The best way to get a shiny Pokemon in this game to increase your odds is to combo 31 Pokemon. Could be any Pokemon. But remember, the rarer the Pokemon is, the harder it is to find, the harder it is to catch. So you need to make sure you stockpile on all the Pokeballs. Like around 100, if not more. Great Balls, Ultra Balls, if you get to that point. Doesn't matter. You need to stock up. Now, the only way the combo will be broken is if, one, you try to catch another Pokemon and succeed, or two, the Pokemon you're trying to combo for runs away. Flees, basically. So if any one of the Carapy decides to flee, then I'm gonna be in trouble. Isn't that right, Mew? She's a little distracted. So let's find some Caterpie. Oh, here's one. It's, it's a big one. Nice. Wait for Caterpie to attack, and there we go. The only reason I'm not recording this in HD is HD recordings. Aw, that sucks. Um... HD recordings can only record about 30 minutes. So if I go over the 30 minute line, then I'll lose that HD recording. On the contrary, my flip video camera can record up to 55 minutes. And I can still put that footage together. So rather... so Oh right, I still got a carapy on my team. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be a kind of... That's gonna be a bit distracting, but... I guess I'll just have to deal with it. If they turn into mad pods, I'm taking them off the team. So I didn't quite think that one through. That's a bit annoying. But... No one said shiny hunting would ever, ever, ever be easy. There are easier ways to do it, but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily guaranteed it. 
you have to put in the work. Fortunately, now I have to have all these carapies on the team, too. <laughs> that wasn't in the plan, but I guess it'll be fine. So, if a shiny poke... Whoops. First off, if you run into a Pokemon that's not, in this case, a Carapie, or the one you're trying to get, just run away. Your combo will still be intact. I promise that. I've seen it for myself. All thanks to the help of A Drive. Not that he knows me, I just watched his video. So I'm more aware of what I'm supposed to do. I'm not holding this straight. Um. There we go. Now I'm risking not using berries because Caterpie's an easy catch, I would think. But again, if one of those Caterpie's flees on me, then the combo is over. And that's going to suck if that actually happens. But see, the combo's still going. I think I heard a Caterpie. Caterpie? Is that a Caterpie? Oh, well, there's one. <laughs> I just wanted to actually show the full process of this happening. And hope that I actually get a shiny Pokemon. I wasn't planning on actually trying to catch shiny Pokemon until after the game was done. But considering how easy it is easier it is in this game and that I could get my Mew to um, benefit from this. It just seemed like a win-win to me. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a Caterpie. This is going to take a while, guys. Just bear with me. Maybe it's a little easier to shiny hunt, but it's definitely still tedious. So I'll list the link down below once I, or if I, find the shiny Caterpie I'm looking for. Man, I only got six. <laughs> Oh, I'm a long ways away. Why does that keep looking like a Caterpie to me? It's not, but it keeps looking like it. You looked calm by the aroma of the grass here. Nice. I cannot see. <laughs> uh, okay, we got a giant Pidgey. We're not looking for pig. Oops, that's a Weedle. Alright, get out of there. Oops, phone bun. Um, where are you, Carapy? That's a Weedle. This is the probably a better place to be in order to get Pokemon to spawn. Ooh, here's a Caterpie. So I don't think I said this yet, but shiny Pokemon do appear shiny in the overworld, plus there's sparkles around them. So it is easy to tell what a shiny Pokemon looks like, but you have to be looking around. You have to be aware of your surroundings. Because I'm pretty sure, like any other Pokemon, that shiny Pokemon won't stay around for long. Pokemon wander around for only so long before they disappear and other Pokemon replace um, whatever Pokemon was there before. 
For example, a Pidgey could be flying around above the... Oops. Um... That wasn't supposed to be planned. I thought I fought all the trainers. Happy, I think I'm gonna need your help with this one. That that wasn't supposed to happen. No, I screwed up. I screwed up bad. I'm sorry, guys. I really thought I defeated all of the trainers. And me is poisoned. Well, I guess I'm going to have to use an antidote. Otherwise, I'm going to black out. Let's finish this battle. Once again, I'm sorry. I did not realize that I didn't fight all the trainers. That was my bad. But at least I get a few more Pokeballs. But yeah, we need to help Mew out. She's the only one in the party. And I could change that easily. But... Oh wait, no, she's not the only one in the party. What was I thinking? We still got all those Caterpies. Duh. Aw oh, man, only one antidote? Well, let's hope that there aren't any other trainers. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I hope I didn't break the combo just because I got into a trainer fight. Yikes, I never even thought about that. Well, we're about to find out very quickly. As I take out this shiny Caterpie. Here's hoping the combo it wasn't broken. I don't know. Come on. Alright. That's that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all good. Oh boy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're just gonna we're just going to prevent all of those. Okay, good. The combo's still there. I guess I'll encounter this Caterpie. Nice. I gotta put all these Caterpie away <laughs> before they all turn level 7. Because I don't need that right now. I really don't. Another Caterpie? <sighs> I'm gonna regret doing this. <laughs> Ooh, that was bad timing. That was definitely bad timing. But it's fine, it's just a Caterpie. If it were anything bigger, then I should be worried. Oh, one of Caterpie grew to level 7, which means it's gonna try to evolve. No, no, no. I'm not letting that happen. Alright, we're at 10 now. Slowly but surely. Whoops. Um, okay, I think I'm in the wrong area. I think I need to go to the bag. Pokemon box. Pokemon box. The controls still feel sensitive on this. And... Move. This part's a little tedious. If I could find Pokemon that don't evolve, 
then I suppose this would be all right. But for right now, I'm just gonna have to do it this way. Okay, make sure I'm holding the Pokeball right. I've been holding it sideways sometimes, so it doesn't react correctly if I'm doing that. Um, where are all the Pokemon? Mew? <laughs> I love interacting with Mew. I don't see any other Pokemon though. Oh, okay, there's a Weedle. Bellsprout. But where, oh, where are those cute little Caterpies? Definitely a preferred Caterpie over Weedle. Oh, there's one. Oh, it disappeared! See, that's what I was just talking about. There's a chance that that could easily happen. Oh, there's one. It's a big one. Better make sure I catch it. Oh, boy. <laughs> like I said, bring plenty of Pokeballs. Do not skimp out on Pokeballs. And probably not even raspberries. Well, that's 11. Aw, Bulbasaur. Too bad I'm not looking for you. So if you wanted to get, like, a shiny Bulbasaur, you would have to put in more work. Granted, the lure item would really help, but I don't know how long that would last. I want to put that carapy away now because it's definitely a high level. Well, that was weak. I didn't know I would do that. Okay. Alright then. Do that again. Do it one more time. I dare you. A double dog dare you. There we go! Hold on. I need to take care of something. Alright, I'm back. The rechargeable batteries were done recharging, so I didn't want to leave it in the outlet. Um, oh, there's a cap here around here. Right next to the Bulbasaur. <laughs> of course. Nice. By the way, I ended up spinning the... Big Pearl in order to get the money to afford a hundred Pokeballs. But then I did something really dumb. I ended up selling almost all the Pokeballs I had. And I had to buy a lot of them back for a more expensive price. So that sucks. That means I'm actually poor now. It's really not good. Oh, that was a Metapod. Whoops. Alright, get out of there. Um, might as well take care of the Caterpie. That way they don't keep trying to evolve. So far I haven't found a way to like put an Everstone on them. Is there a way to do that? Well, first you would need an Everstone. So it's possible, it's just you would actually need to find Everstones in order to actually get that to work. Which makes sense. 
But where the heck would I get all those Everstones? Whoopsie. So I still have no idea how large the Pokemon box can be. It might be infinite. Maybe. Uh-oh. Dang it! I got bombarded by a teeny tiny little pidgey. Why? Just why? Okay, I'm stuck. That kid won't move. Oh, Caterpie! Caterpie! Where might you be? That's so. Oh wait, that is a Caterpie. I thought it was a Weedle for some reason. Yikes. I don't think I'm that tired. Alright, we got 15 so far, and we're about halfway through the video. <laughs> Give or take like five minutes. But we're running a teeny bit behind, and there's no guarantee that I'm going to find the Caterpie right away. The shiny Caterpie. It's just... I forgot what the percentage is. It's like one out of 4,000 something. However, at 31 total catch combos, it will be, I think, 4 out of 4,000? And the Pokemon can just come out of the grass at any time. The more you wander around, the more Pokemon you'll find. Which means... That there has to be a better odds of finding a shiny Pokemon... In the overworld versus... Even doing the SOS battles. Because you only get two at a time. Here it could be more than six. So you never know. Use leveling up pretty nicely, and she learned Swift! Yay! So we got 17 so far. Um, I guess I'll go this way. Hmm. Talk to me for a moment. Just because I can. She's interested in the Caterpie I caught. Okay. Um. Who's going around in circles? Oh, there's one. Oh, boy. That was some timing. Oh no, he broke out! Alright, let's try again. There we go. By the way, let me know what you think about this um, wild capture music. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. 18 so far. Aw, there's a Bulbasaur. Cute. Oh, there's one. <sighs> really? All that prep and that's what I do? Okay, I think it depends on what direction I quote-unquote toss my Pokeball. 
I think. Um, oh, there's a big one. Wait, and go. Nice. Gotcha, Cappy. Hopefully I can figure out which ones have the best stats. Oh, uh, no. One of them got the level 7. And I finally made it to 20. That took a while. So for right now, let's deposit all these Carapy. I guess scroll down the list to find them. Oops. Must uh, press down by accident. Just 11 more to go. Even though the odds are already slowly improving. You can also get high IV Pokemon by doing this. But 31 is the cap. That's what I learned. So it doesn't matter if you do it 50 more times or not. 31 is the cap. It cannot go any higher than 31. I mean, you can keep catching Pokemon, but your odds aren't going to get any better. That's what I'm basically trying to say. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, where? I hear you. But I don't see you. Oh, I almost ran into a Bulbasaur. No, seriously, where's the Caterpie? I don't... I don't see him. I heard him for like a moment, but now I don't see him. Hmm. Okay, there's a Bell Sprout. Weedle. Another Weed. Oh, wait, no, that's a Caterpie. <laughs> How do I mistake? Carapy for Weedle. How? I don't understand that. Okay, I'm doing something wrong with my throwing because it always seems to be curving. I need to figure out what it is that I'm doing wrong when I focus like that. It's late. That's part of the reason why I'm not being so talkative or being loud. Because it is definitely getting late. Um, oh, there's a Pikachu somewhere. Okay, I should probably stick in, excuse me, stick around this area. Where I can walk around without actually go. <laughs> just ran right into him. It's like I'm looking around in the grass and I don't even notice the Bulbasaur that I stepped right at. Okay. Alright, uh, that's great. Um, Kakuna, Bulbasaur, Pidgey, hmm, and all the Carapy. Another Pidgey. This sucks. I don't see any bulbous. 
I don't see any Caterpie. There's a Bulbasaur right there. Playing a Weedle, apparently. Oh, there's one. Jeez, when I go to hunt Charmander down, that's gonna be hard. But I'm definitely going to want a shiny male Charmander. That way I can get a shiny Charizard. Good old Daint. I'm looking forward to that. Well, Mew seems distracted. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a Caterpie. Well, I will definitely go catch ya. So far, so good. Nice, I got excellent. I think it's easier to get excellent with bigger Pokemon. That would make sense. If it's smaller Pokemon, then it's harder. And one of the Caterpie is level 7 now. Time to put you in the box. I don't need to evolve all the Caterpie I get. Pokemon box and scroll down. Boy, I'm gonna have to figure out how to Is it possible to um deposit some of these Pokemon? Oh, I can send them to the professor. That's how I do it. Like in Pokemon Go. Alright, that's good to know. But it'd be good to try to figure out which ones have high CP. Even though I'm not really that good at figuring that type of thing out. I do that off screen though. Hello. Oh, there's one. I love that car too. That car is so cute. Alright, we are at 33 minutes. Almost have a 31 catch combo. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to catch more KRP after 31 though. It's not going to break the combo at all. Maybe it'll just kind of prove. Well, I don't know. It'd be easier just to wander the overworld until a shiny Caterpie shows up. So I probably won't do what I just talked about doing. Dang it! What? Why? Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I need to be shifting my hand down. Like, straight down. While holding the Pokeball straight in order to throw a straight... In a straight line. Can you tell I'm tired? I'm definitely tired. I'm having fun, but I'm tired. Um... Oh, that's a Cappy. It's a smaller one, but still a carapy. There we go.
Hmm. Might want to deposit those two. Especially the one at the end. They're coming close to getting the level 7. Let me just get out of the grass for a minute. Pokemon box. And remove from party. There we go. There's a caterpie. Nice. Oh no! What? How did it break out? Hmm. You know, now I'm a little paranoid. I'm gonna use a Rodsberry. Yes, I got some Premier Balls too. Alright. There we go. Don't wanna break the streak. Do not want to break the streak. 28. I need three more and then I'll be at max. I should definitely still keep my eyes peeled because a shiny could appear before that happens. You never know. <laughs> I don't understand how I do that sometimes. Uh-oh. Um, level 5. So again, paranoid. Should have just bought more Vosberries. <gasps> what? Um... Hmm... Okay. Alright. I'm not sure what happened. But I think... I just destroyed... The combo. I don't. I don't even know how. As I was feeding Carapia a berry, did that scare him off? Can Pokemon run when you're trying to feed them berries? I haven't seen that kind of gunk junk until since Pokemon Safari. Yeah, the, the combo got broken. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to do this combo on my own. So, BRB. Catch you in the flash.